Limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy HBICs. How you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? So before I get started, huh, let me give you the basic bitch. If you need help figuring out what's going on between a you and your manifestation, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the Dropbox below. They're in the screen, so just went by. I have two channel memberships where I go live with my channel members. I have the exclusive lives membership. I go live with them every single Tuesday. Sometimes I have to reschedule it to a different day during the week, but that happens. That's okay, though. I still, we still, we still get together. Uh, but for the most part, on Tuesday evenings, 9.30 p.m.-ish Eastern Standard Time, and with my hot seat slash group coaching, I go live with them every single Friday around 9 a.m.-ish Eastern Standard Time. If you join the hot seat group, you have access to both groups, both groups. Also, I am considering, I have been considering for a while because I've said it in another video, with, you know, I got a couple of ideas floating around about making a third channel membership, um, but it's it's just coming like here's a download. I'm getting to I love my downloads. I'm feeling like if you guys have a suggestion of something you would enjoy having like access perks wise for a third channel membership, give, give, put the idea in the comment section because I, I might just take you up on that idea. I've got a few things playing around. Um, nothing I've settled on just yet because obviously this third channel membership. I want it to be super juicy. Like I already thought the hot seat slash group coaching was juicy. The exclusive lives is juicy, but this third membership is gonna, it's gotta be something that, you know, super sexy, <laughs> super juicy and giving the access to the other two groups. So I, I know. what do you think? Give me some ideas. I am about to uh, upload a video that actually was uh, pointed out to me. It was from one of my live streams. One of our fellow HBICs um, put a timestamp in in the video and said that they found it really helpful and that they uh, had returned to it more than once. And I am sorry that I have forgotten your username. Um, I will insert it right now. So thank you, my friend. Um, and that makes me want to also say to you all, you guys, if you watch any of my live streams and you find an answer to someone else's question helpful, you rewatch it more than once, you really enjoy it, and you think that it could help out another one of our HBICs, please throw the timestamp down in the comment section. Please feel free to do that. Um, you're helping me to be honest, because when it's a, it's something, let me just say this, every time a timestamp is put into my comments, if I get the notification, because remember, YouTube does not notify me for every single comment. Um, that's something that I have to go in and actually check, and I do when I can. But if I see a timestamp, I always check that comment because I'm aware of, hey, maybe there's a juicy nugget in there that I don't remember saying, blah, 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 blah. And maybe it could help somebody. So the timestamps, please, you are more than welcome to leave a timestamp of something you really liked in a video. If it's something that I think is sexy, sassy, saucy, and you would think that everything I say is sexy, sassy, saucy, but 
you know what I'm saying. If it's something, I'm like, oh my God, yeah. Okay, so what you're about to watch is one that was, actually that comment came in this weekend. So once again, thank you very much. I'm gonna replay it. I do think it's helpful. And let me just say this, if you are struggling or fearing a third party, if your specific person has a third party and that third party could be a human, it could be that person's job, it could be a family member, it could be anything you deem is in the way of you and your specific person. This this is gonna help you. Um, um, also, this is another reminder. If you have videos that you want made, I do randomly take suggestions. I do. Um, th I, that's coming up because this video that you're about to watch is something along those lines. So yeah, if you have a question that I know that I do not have any recent videos on the subject, yeah, ask away, put it in the comment. So again, I know having a third party or having something that makes you feel like it's in the way of you having what you want, I know that's not fun. I know it is, but ask yourself, which reality are you believing more in? The current 3D reality where you don't have your manifestation and there's a third party in the equation? Or do you believe in the reality that you're hop, skipping and jump into, which is what you're manifesting? What I mean is the reality of the version of you who is having exactly what you're manifesting. That sexy, sassy, saucy, loving, fulfilling, committed relationship. You know, the reality where you already got that and there's absolutely nothing in the way and you're the version of yourself that you don't worry about that shit because you're so cocky comfortable that you know that person loves you unconditionally? Which reality do you believe in more? When you're worried, stressed out, feeling doubtful, we're not manifestation failures because we feel that way. But in those moments, we're choosing to be a version of ourselves that we are not believing on the right reality. We're putting our faith in this old 3D, remember, what you're experiencing in your 3D is just an old manifestation. Even if you don't remember ever having these exact thoughts of what you're experiencing, it's your manifestation from the version of you that had limited beliefs, right? This has no more power, so you're believing in the one that's dead. Does that make sense? You're believing in the dead world. The 3D that's currently in your imagination exists. You need to put your faith in that one. So onwards with the video. Hi, Kimmy. Been doing fine, but today the 3D is a mess. Just feeling doubtful with distance and 3P problem. My SP and I speak every day, but I just want things to change and for us to be together. I know that when we're in the thick of shit, it's, it's hard to change our mood, to not let the 3D scare us. This is why I bring up the art of detachment today because it was a game changer for me, along with states, of course. The 3P is not an obstacle. See, we, we get ourselves wrapped up with the logic of, you know, just even thinking thoughts of our person being with someone else is upsetting. But... When, when you really put it into perspective that 3P only exists because of an old limiting belief of ours. It's, it's the only reason why. So if I get rid of that belief and become a version of myself that doesn't have any limiting beliefs around love, relationships, or my person, boom, 3P's got to go. And I won't have to be inconvenienced with that anymore because it's not cemented in your reality. It's not cemented there. It's not permanent. When we're getting upset, when we're fearing it, we're seeing it as so planted and not moving, but it is not, not permanent and it's not an obstacle. Logically, literally, it, it appears like an obstacle, but it's not. And you hold all the power. 
you hold all the cards to it. By deciding to be a new version of yourself, things melt away. Things, circumstances, three Ps melt away. And think about it from this perspective too. Just like your specific person doesn't have the free will, neither does 3P. 3P has no fucking power. Or, or maybe just fearing about the possibility of any 3Ps, none of them have power or free will. None. No one. No one else in your 3D, or excuse me, reality has free will. It's just you. They're not robots. They're still humans, but they're not even aware of why they choose to do things in their 3D. Meaning every action they take, good or bad, or what we're labeling as good or bad, is based off inspired action that they're getting from the same consciousness that you are. But when you're paying attention to your 3D, you remind yourself that these are just my perceptions of these people, right? It's just your perception of your specific person. Change your state, your perception change is, change is. Why can I not talk today? Change the state, the perception changes. So when, if you're emotional, when we're done with our emotions, Recalibrate yourself, meaning just sit, chill, relax, so we can think rationally, manifestation rationally. And then let's really look at this. What is there to fear? Even distance is not an obstacle. If you want specific person to move closer or you want to move to specific person, what would it like to be? What would it like? What would it be like to be the version of yourself? That's living that existence. Now, you're interacting with SP every day, so be mindful. You're literally experiencing them as things are changing. So maybe a today, like today, oh my God, Kimberly. I have to confess. Yes, I'm drinking that. I, <laughs> I can't finish the sentence. I got to stop saying that. I talk, I talk perfectly. When we interact with them every single day, I'm sure the changes feel like they're nowhere near you, like it's not happening. And when we're having a bad day, it probably feels like things are going backwards and they're not. It's not. Nothing out here can take your manifestation away. Nothing out here can get in the way of your manifestation. When you're thinking thoughts like that, we're thinking logically. That's why I say logic is not our friend over here. So, Taylor, everything's going to be okay. Calm yourself. Remind yourself of who you really are, which is consciousness, unadulterated consciousness. You get to choose to be any version of yourself. Choose to be the version of you who's having a loving, fulfilling, committed relationship with that SP, who wants you just as much as you want him. Everything's going to be okay. And listen, whatever fearful thoughts are coming up, what are they? What are they telling you? So when we're thinking about distance, we don't like that maybe he's far away. I'm not sure if how far away your person is, but maybe he doesn't live by you. Maybe you're seeing that as a reason or something to get in the way of you two being together. There's the fear. There's the fear. Maybe you think the specific person wouldn't move to get closer to you. That's, that to me is boiled down to not chosen. And not chosen and not a priority, in my opinion, is connected to not good enough. Because there's always a because why. A because. I don't think he would ever move here for me. There would have to be another reason. Why? Because... Whatever the next sentence is. Because I don't think he loves me enough. I don't think I'm pretty enough. I don't have enough to offer him. Blah, blah, blah. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. You are the version of yourself that is worthy and deserving of specific person moving his ass here, transferring his job here, or you to him. 
Him begging you to move with him. You're worthy and deserving of having the full love experience, and you will if you keep telling yourself that that's who you are now. It's literally, literally the things I told myself. I'm finally now the version of myself that knows, physically my body knows what it feels like to be chosen, to be wanted, to be desired, to be pursued. To know that that person is head over heels in love with me. To know it comfortably, confidently. Not a worry in the world. Not concerned at all that they would ever, ever cheat, do anything. I finally know what that feels like. I finally know what it feels like to be in the most amazing relationship of my life. Not a care in the world. That's who I am now. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know when. But I know I'm having it. I'm experiencing unconditional love. That's who I am now. I just kept telling myself that that's who I was. And that's what I got. And you will too. Okay, Taylor. Everything's going to be okay. Man, I hate when you guys have bad days. I know it's not fun. I remember mine and it sucks. I know it does. But it's so temporary. It's just your state. It's not truth. It's just your state. Meaning, whatever thoughts are coming in, they're not truth. They're not truth. They're just fears. And they don't belong to you. They belong to an old version of you. You're becoming the version of yourself that's having whatever it is you desire. That's who you're becoming. Or that's who you are now. Your choice and wording. It doesn't matter to speak things from future tense. It doesn't matter. Well, there you have it. I want to say thank you again to my friend, my fellow HBIC, who took the time to give me a timestamp of some information that they enjoyed watching. It's appreciated. And I'm going to repeat myself and say, if you ever watch one of my live streams or any video of mine, and there is a certain area in the video that you really enjoyed or you found it helpful, maybe it was a light bulb moment for you, feel free to leave me a little note with the timestamp. So on that note, enough of this. Enough of this. I'll see you tomorrow. Be good. Be good. And leave me some damn timestamps.